I cannot believe I'm going to do what I'm thinking about doing right now and probably following through with it. Probably some of you out there that don't know that I have a 2020 Corvette. I put a special order in for it in 2018. Yeah, it took me almost two years to get my car and it was it was my dream car. I said to myself that I would have a red Corvette at one point and I achieved that. Now fast forward to 2022, I still absolutely love this car. Is it practical? No, I don't drive this car very much. I drive a pickup truck and I love my pickup truck. That's practical because I use it for my line of work. I go on road trips with it. Don't really go on road trips with this. And sometimes I don't even have that much time to even drive it. So I am here at CarMax. The used car market is pretty good right now. So I think I may be able to get a pretty decent offer. I don't own this car outright i make payments on it so for me my goal if i can break even or let's say i even lose a couple bucks and my payments are kind of high being that i don't really have a whole lot of time to drive it so hey without wasting any time let's go inside carmax and see how much they will offer me for this beautiful c8 corvette <laughs> oh i love it so much though i'm gonna miss you I don't know if this happened by accident or if maybe a hater, you know, saw that like I'm a young guy with some gray hairs, of course. Maybe he didn't like my Corvette and he put a little scratch there. Yeah, but I mean, that's not like a really big deal. That's, other than that, it's a beautiful car. You think I'm making a bad decision? No, I think that this car deserves to be driven more. Good answer. Like somebody that actually has time to drive Look, it. it's always been your dream to have this exact car and you made that dream. Oh, look at my hair, it's literally on the car. <laughs> it's always been your dream to have this car. You got the car, you accomplished that. You had your time with it. Like it's just, now it's just sitting there. You're too busy to drive it. I just love the C8. I mean, maybe one day I'll have one again, but not for a long time. No, but I don't want to sell it. Why are you making me sell it? I'm not making you do anything. Why are you making me? Don't even get people to start thinking <laughs> that I'm making you do something. I am just always in full support of whatever you decide to do. She I'm said because mind. we're having a new baby soon, we need to get a minivan. Here we go. Are we about to have people ask me for three years <laughs> if I'm pregnant and when the baby's due? <laughs> All right, look, we're not pregnant. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so they said that the appraisal was going to take about 15 minutes. We did go to the store across the street, got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that would be this. I got this pineapple Perrier. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. We are back in the exact parking space that I parked my Corvette and they moved over there. I don't know what that means, but there's no clickbait. I do have another key on me. I was wondering, now there's a camera that records, well, mainly from the outside. So I'll know if they were dogging my car right now, maybe they took it on a joyride. I'll be able to see that. And maybe I can see if they were saying anything. We'll probably offer them, like if he wants to go, we'll offer him this higher price. I don't, I don't know, I could use that to my advantage. Let's go check it out. If you're ever thinking about selling a car to CarMax, check out if they have any similar vehicles that you are selling them. I kind of looked around, no C8s here. Hey, no clickbait. Are you trying to be up in here? Okay, I'm back. Was anybody abusing you while I was gone? I wonder if he brought somebody with him. It'd be cool if he did. Uh oh, I hear him talking. I got my book. Nice, boy. <laughs> 2020? Mm -hmm. Look at all these buttons. <laughs> you know how fast this goes? Fast. I love it. I have no idea who's talking. Maybe it's one of their managers. I had no idea somebody be even talking. This is great. All right, sorry about the glare. Oh, oh, they all checking it out. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, it's okay if they rev it. This is just a little rev. Oh, that was it. That was it. I have to say, CarMax was very respectful. They didn't dog my car. They didn't take it for a joyride. Just, you know, a little excited. I, I was kind of preparing for that. Now, while I was in here checking out that video, Tiffany walked out with the offer that they gave me. The way I got to look at it is, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit lower than what I could probably sell the car for myself. I understand this is a place of business. They have to make their profit. I came here with the thought that it would be a great idea if, if I could just pay off my car. 
and not have to have any car payments anymore and maybe take a loss. The offer they made me, I still am taking a little bit of a loss, but it's not bad. And the way I look at it is another payment that I make could be a loss. It is a loss because I'm not really driving this car. I don't need it. I've had it for two years and I have 5,000 miles on it. That's how much I've driven this car. I mean, just to a couple car shows on the weekends, maybe taking it somewhere with Tiff. So I think I'm gonna probably take this offer. Say goodbye to my baby, No Clickbait. That's her name, by the way, or his name. I just feel so bad for you, No Clickbait. Daddy doesn't spend a whole lot of time with you. Send you to a better home so you can get driven a lot more. Cause No Clickbait likes to be sat on the last time ever that I will be driving this car. <laughs> That's the mileage in two years. I, I don't drive this a whole lot. It's all good. This material stuff. I mean, this isn't just material to me though, because this was a dream of mine. And for those of you who say that, you know, you should be putting your dreams in the car, like, you know, some of us guys have, it's, it's just like for some of you that have a dream of like maybe going on a vacation or, a dream of maybe going to a really cool college or I don't know. I mean, whatever your dream is, I support it. This was my dream, but like, it's okay. Like I've, I've achieved that dream. I enjoyed it. I, I had fun with it and it just makes practical sense now to move on and not have to financially be tied down to this too, being that I don't use it a whole lot. If I used it, if I use this as my daily driver, but I mean, I, I do a lot of work. I use my pickup truck a lot with my properties and real estate and even road trips. I'd never take this on a road trip. I mean, I I get so paranoid even driving it, but all right. I love you. Thank you for all the smiles and thrills, all the good times we had. It was fun taking the top down, fun taking you on car shows and trips. Well, the one trip. <laughs> All right. That's it. Oh, man. Okay. This is goodbye. Tiffany said that we left a Starbucks cup behind this seat. Uh, anything? You see anything? Uh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh. I love you. I love you, too. Be nice to the next person, okay? Show them what you got. I don't even... See my C8. I mean, the last place that I parked it was over there, and it's pretty much long gone now. Goodbye. I almost, I came this close to changing my mind. Did you really? I, I really did. And then I was like, 5,000 miles. Like that kept sticking out to me. 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles in two years. 5,000 miles. That says a lot. That it just sat in the garage. It just sat in the garage. I do a lot of traveling. How often do we drive that car? It's just, it's, like maybe once every couple months yeah i mean i love driving it when i get to drive it mm -hmm. but i didn't really get to drive i i think i got the use out of it you definitely Don't... got use out of it yeah i had fun with it in the time that i did have it now this is my second time selling a car wait yeah second time because we sold the ford flex mm -hmm. right now is not a bad time to try to sell a car to not just carmax but anybody in general because used car prices are kind of high i think carmax really took good care of us but i mean you're not gonna profit that much when it comes to any car well you're profiting by saving that money every month right like i kind of broke even as far as yeah like i'm not selling like i'm not making any payments anymore not having to make payments not high car insurance anymore you yes have the room in the garage now. got some extra room because yeah our our garage is tiny it's a tiny one car garage if you're ever thinking about considering carmax to maybe buy your car highly recommend highly highly recommend they're very professional they're 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 caring it's and, fast process too yeah i mean it, the whole process it was what like three hours yeah but it, i think it took a little longer too because you had to find the information on your app right yeah i didn't have the account number and stuff like that so it definitely helps if you have all that information handy before you come and try to either do a trade-in or a sell to CarMax, but anyways, video's not over. I'm glad you come along on this really cool adventure. And remember, if you're gonna sell a car with CarMax, check out the cars that they do have in their lot. They, you know, it is a business and they do have to make some money because they wouldn't be in business, but just to get an idea of what they're selling their cars for. Because if they're offering you like 
I don't know, $20,000 less than what the car's worth. I mean, that's just, that's extravagant, but you get, you get my drift. Like you want to make sure that they're giving you a decent amount of money for your trade or your, your car, you know, if you're going to sell it to them. I feel uh, like CarMax is the best deal. Yeah, for sure. Why are you, why are you so bright? Are you, re you really are sunshine. She is my sunshine. <laughs> so my seat, it's hey. gone forever. Yeah, it's a good thing that we sold the Corvette because pretty soon I'm gonna be having to make payments on a new house. There's the garage right there. It is gonna be a three car garage. I love my garage space, but the house itself is what, like 2,000 or 1,900 square feet? I'm ready for the inside walls to start being put up. Well, we, got, we got a ways to go <laughs> before we get to the inside framing. So the way they frame before putting drywall on like the these walls, because some of those walls are gonna be actual drywall walls they put these furring strips okay we're gonna start out in the garage and i'm excited about having a garage it's it's so nice having a garage it's in my plans you know god willing i want to put a really cute pond like i mean not right next to the house but just kind of you know catty corner over there and that's where we're gonna keep the ducks it looks a lot bigger on camera with this wide angle lens so this would be the entrance into the laundry room and that's where our washer dryer hookup is. Behind this wall, there's a bedroom there. That's gonna be Max's bedroom and Boston's bedroom is gonna be over there. And then we're gonna have, there are two other bedrooms over here, like small, smaller bedrooms. Now, even though it's gonna be like 2000 square feet, still gotta have five rooms. One of the rooms is gonna be my, like my office. There's a kitchen, that's the dining, like breakfast nook. Over here is the living room. Oh, this is part of the kitchen too. This is like a, no, the sink is gonna go. And then this is like all open right here up until you get to the middle of that wall. And then that's gonna be our bedroom and our shower and like a little tub. And then we got this really cool front porch. I'm so excited about this front porch. We extended it out because the original house that the builder had planned to, to build it was like half the size so like it's a small porch like up to there so we extended it out this this is about six feet because you know we're in the country you want to look at the hills here in northern florida i mean it's just it's beautiful out here and then we have a backyard porch which is nice and these sliding glass doors that are going to be here they actually open up all the way this is going to be a screened in porch we're going to have our donkeys chickens and goats towards the end of the property wow look at all of this land oh my god this is gonna be uh, so much fun to cut here in florida during the summertime you gotta cut your grass at least once a week if you don't it just it gets bad so might get a couple maybe like two riding lawnmowers and me and tiff will just kind of tag team it or just might get like a nice big tractor i'm gonna need a tractor anyways to do little projects <laughs> A lot of people be wanting to come visit Florida in the summertime. Don't. I mean, I, I know because maybe your kids are out of school and maybe you have a teaching job, that's understandable, but July, August, even a little bit of September, it's just a lot of raining and the rain is unpredictable. It could just come at any moment. All right, getting ready to go into this car wash. It's like super high tech. I'm moving by myself. It's by, it's like moving by itself. When I was a kid, I was deathly afraid. Is my truck gonna fit in here? But I was afraid of car washes. Like I would cry when my dad would bring me. You gonna need to bring car washes? Me? Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, need a bath? Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't go back up. <laughs> Why wouldn't it go back up? Because the way your window works, you have to like do it a couple times before it starts going up. Because it'll start, it'll just keep going down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you wet. I'm not sorry, that's why you did it. <laughs> but I only wanted a, just a little squirt, you know? I'm just glad one of those things didn't get stuck in here. Bruh, that was awesome. There's still a little bug splatter on my window there, but. Vacuums too? This is great. Free vacuums? Remember those like 90s commercials where the kids like. Ah. I look good? 
<laughs> look at all this gray hair. It's only on the sides. I mean, I got a couple. I'm looking rough. I'm embarrassed to even be doing a video right now. Like, I look ter- You know what? I'm gonna do something. It does involve a little bit of magic, and you have to say the magic word. Well, magic words, okay? Three, two, one. Give me kiss. Ooh. Dude, that was the quickest haircut and color I have ever experienced in my life. I wish they were all quick like that. Believe it or not, spent a couple hours doing this. So yeah, it's like a shade or two darker than my natural hair color, minus the, the wisdom blondes that I have. Yeah, looks good, got a haircut too. By the way, I am so excited about where we're going to explore tomorrow and in the next day. I'm gonna bring you along. I have an awesome story. We're gonna stay in Florida, but we're going way down south. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. We're going to Miami and a couple other places along the way. What do you think? Glasses or no glasses? I'd say glasses, because I can see better. All right, fam, it is morning. Getting ready to go out on our little adventure, Tiffany and I. Give me give, give me give me give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. She says a lot more things than just. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Look who just went potty. Oh. Oh. On the road again. So check this out. I had a client that I used to, for a lot of you that don't know, your boy Omar used to cut hair for a living. And that's, I, I still occasionally will do it for some friends and family. And I have some clients you that I- downsizing what you used to do. You used to not cut hair. Yeah, you I was, a, I was color a colorist. Specialist. Yes, I did color. You did everything. I mean, as you can see, you know, I, I'd still be pipping out hair color. I, just, I love being creative. And it, it was a great way to showcase my creativity. I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it was fun. It was a fun job. All except for the standing for 12 hours and hurting your back. But I mean, like I had the best clients. I have this client that I've kept in contact with for a really long time. And her and her husband have a timeshare down in Miami Beach. So we were talking on Facebook the other day and she was like, hey, I know that you love the beach and I have this awesome timeshare. Would you be interested in staying there for like a day or two before we get there on the weekend because we can't be there during our timeshare dates because we have to work and i was like hell yeah what do you want me to do and at first she was like you don't have to do anything like we love you so much you've been a big part of our family i mean i cut their kids hair like growing up she was like okay well hey if you want to do something why don't you give me a haircut and color and we'll call it even and i mean she wasn't really looking for anything but i was like Oh my God, of course, hell yeah, to stay out on the beach, on Miami Beach. Like, if you've ever been to Miami Beach, the water is beautiful. I mean, anywhere in Southern Florida, like the, it just, they, it looks like a tropical island. If you're looking for a beautiful beach, it's just, it's gorgeous. Hey babe, what are you doing there? Ah! We are about 30 minutes away from Miami Beach. And if you look around, this is starting to look like Los Angeles traffic which if you ever visit miami anywhere down in south florida people drive crazy speed limit is everybody just drives as fast as they want to go can't wait to see the ocean this dude is getting ready to escape on the interstate or something he has his door i don't open. think he has ac in his windows but i don't roll down oh uh, he's getting some fresh air maybe he needs to because his but all his windows are up uh. and he was just wiping himself down with a towel Oh, I mean, it is hot outside. 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Yo. Bro, I would break a window. Feel bad for him if that's the problem, if his windows won't roll down. See these beautiful cars. Look at that Lamborghini. That's a Lamborghini SUV. And aw. She pink. All right, let's check this place out. Oh my God. Nancy is going to be getting the freshest hair color. Oh, look at this. Notice how I'm not even fixated on how beautiful this place is inside. Wow, we got coconut trees back there too. 
Oh, wow. And that's a private beach. These are all homeowners. So, I mean, look, there's nobody out there. <laughs> you wanna go outside? These windows are amazing too. It's like, soon as you walk through that front door, I mean, you're just staring at this gorgeous view. Oh my gosh. And a hammock too? Yeah. Yeah, Nancy didn't tell me about no hammock. Well, oh, look, there's a sea turtle nest. There's another one down there. Where? Right there. And over there. Okay, there's a couple people in the distance. Probably some condos. Look at these houses. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a freaking blimp in our backyard. I'm geeking over the Goodyear blimp being right behind me. Like it's right there. Oh, it's, it just went up. It's going up. Oh. I'm just so happy to be at the freaking beach. Whoa. Super blue. Wow. Dude, this is so cool. Check it out, fam. Tiffany has a new friend. <laughs> Chilling. It's actually some people over here in the water. It's the famous Florida special. Hey, I'm just really happy I was able to get into the water, enjoy some sunshine, see a beautiful view. Florida was like, all right, now we gotta feed our palm trees. How lucky am I right now? I get to drive alongside a C8. No, I mean, it was expected. <laughs> Tiffany wanted me to drive her by Kourtney Kardashian's house. So we can just kind of take a peek at it. It's something that we do, it's fun. If we had a jet ski. Yeah. Problem is, is you can't get there definitely by car. I mean, it's, and it's kind of expected with some of these huge celebrity names like Kourtney Kardashian. It's crazy because we're in this very regular apartment complex with high rent probably, but right next door is like they have a police officer. That's where she lives back in there well part-time i don't know yeah this, this is, is a, this it's is, a vacation house this is what it looks like <laughs> boom wow right over there on that inlet right there Aww. so if we had a jet ski like we on that or boat, boat we like could go. That guy. yep but this is where the yachts park whoa dude <laughs> Dang, they're having, having a, a party party <laughs> oh yeah they're having a party <laughs> yo let's get out and party with these guys oh bro look at this that boat's worth like $2 million. Yo, we're open. Look at the name of this place. Uh, I don't know what that is. See that? Drunk Bitch Palace. <laughs> <laughs> so how you see Miami Beach, well, South Beach, this is how it is literally all the time. It it's, doesn't sleep. Like everything stays open. Oh, look at this guy's get up. So busy out here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, clubs everywhere, stores, restaurants. I mean, tell me, I've been out here before and oh, <laughs> people don't care. Must be nice having to wait in line at Walgreens. <laughs> Look at that. Bro, that is a busy Walgreens. That Walgreens is two floors. What the heck? This is the real South Beach right here. Like that picture I showed you. I mean, you know, there's the ocean and then this is the South Beach. This is kind of weird though because you're you're you were able back in the day to drive this way and this is like a one way. I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I haven't been out here in years. What does this remind you of? Like when you go to Clearwater Beach, they kind of made it look like South Beach a little bit. What was the that artist that was like he died? Oh, yeah. Um I forgot his name. The designer. Versace. Versace. How, how, I say Versace all the time. I've never worn Versace, but like I do this like British accent. I'm like, you don't wear Versace, you consider the punk. He was shot out of his home and I think his house was right off the strip here, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, so clubs out here, you gotta like be dressed a certain way to get in and they can refuse you if you don't look good. Yes, they do discriminate when it comes to clubs. I don't know, maybe things are different now, but I know that when I was like a early 20s, 18, around there, I came out here once and like the clubs were like that and they refused me because I was pretty ugly, especially back then. Cops are just on standby, waiting for somebody to spend the night at the beach. No fair, the guy on the scooter is going faster. 
Boy, what is that? You get to order cream. ice cream out of a little car. South Beach is pretty cool. Your horn works, buddy. Check it out, a Lambo. Cool, another Lambo. They're selling puppies right out of the back of their car. Look at that. You should ask how much they're selling them for. So I can take all of them. I wonder what kind of puppies they were. They were pseudo baby pit bulls. Were they pit bulls? Yeah, when you go to a shelter, it's usually 90% pit bulls that are in some of these shelters and some of them are so sweet. We just still driving through South Beach. This is Collins, which is the street over from Ocean. That was the street that we were on right now. That's the like official South Beach, but it's a weekday and look how busy it is. Imagine on the weekends. McLaren. A shiny red Ferrari for free. For free. I just like looking at them. I would never like spend that much money on a car. Origin. Let me know here in the comments. Ferrari or house on the beach? House on me, beach. house on the beach all day. I'll tell you what, like if you want a really cool car like that, get a C8 like I had. They're way more affordable. I mean, you could do the freaking oil change. I did the oil changes myself. Like you could work on them yourself. Mid engine, like a Ferrari and it's American made. So if they break down, you know, you can get parts from Chevrolet. You don't have to like go to Italy and get the Parts. Wait, Ferraris? Yeah, it's Italian. Pretty sure it's Italian. I mean, I hear some of these cars that get an oil change is like $8,000. That's absolutely absurd. Like a Lamborghini, that's what you're paying that's for an oil ridiculous. change. That's so stupid. $8,000. I, I don't know what it is for a Ferrari. But hey, I get to see it for free. We still in South Beach too. Wow, people love their horns. I'm going to join in the fun. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. For those of you who enjoy stepping on Legos and you want to enjoy stepping on Legos everywhere you walk, now you can do it. But you have to get these sandals right here. Look at that, they're Lego sandals. I'm just kidding, I don't know what they are. Feels kind of comfortable. Yo, this is awesome. Only reason why we got a little bit of light here though is from the moon. Thank you, moon. Like, oh. Dude, I just love the beach sound. Like, look at someone's house and you're like, must be nice no no i usually say man you know what that person probably has an awesome story to tell about how they got so successful i mean i'm sure there's like i don't know maybe one spoiled rich kid out here but most of these people i'm sure worked really hard good morning everybody i am eating some breakfast looking at this beautiful view probably not the smartest idea to go out there and go for a swim especially now it's super windy however tiffany and i have a great idea for how we're gonna plan this day out. And I couldn't be more excited. Look at those waves. Like, ain't nobody out there swimming. You ever watch those videos, maybe like on TikTok? I've seen a couple here on YouTube too, where the boats are at this inlet. They start going out and the waves are huge and they some of them end up sinking. People end up flying off the boats. Well, that inlet is not far from here. And Tiffany's a huge fan I of some of those videos. videos. So we figured, hey, why not go and check that out for ourselves? I did bring my other camera that has like a really good zoom lens. Let's go scope it out. Maybe we could capture a couple boats and maybe we could help them out, throw them a rope or something. I don't have my jet ski. I would be out there. I, you know what blows my mind is in some of those videos, I'll see jet skis. Well, they have them out there. For, they have just for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Like I would not be riding my jet ski through these treacherous waters. I mean, that's, just look at that. That is a baby iguana. Where'd it go? There it goes. It looks like it's a pretty nice day if you're, you know, looking this way. But then you look up ahead and there is a thunderstorm of brewing, probably some tornado action too. Have you ever seen a water spout? Yeah. They're like water tornadoes, super cool. Super windy, looks like, I mean, I can't believe there's an airplane in the sky right there. Why yeah. is it like that? Cause it's probably caught in some wind. That's what it looks like nah. when a plane turns after it takes off. But look how windy it is outside. Like if we were outside right now, we'd be only hearing this right now. Riding with the top down, getting ready to go towards a thunderstorm. That dude's savage. We just made it to the Hallover Inlet. Oh, oh my God. Look at the water. Oh my God. Oh, it is treacherous.
I guess it's pretty windy out. But when y'all watch these videos on YouTube of these boats and you think it's just like one boat after another, no. These guys are out here probably for 12 hours a day, maybe even longer. We've been here already maybe an hour. We've seen one boat and two jet skis go by. So it takes a lot of patience. There's a lot behind the scenes that you don't get to see. More than likely though, those are the guys. There's two different cameras set up and they got some really nice lenses. Look at that. The people are always here when people They'll wave at them. Yeah, they'll wave at them. Oh, look, it says wavy. Look, wavy boats. in the front are like I just have my hair straightened today let's, let's not do this <laughs> it is like almost six o'clock <laughs> we've been here all day and these guys are still out here it's fun to watch the boats go by wait how much like sunblock did you put up? like I got this really nice like fishing shirt how much sunblock did I put yeah. on did you put any sunblock so on so everybody let me just go ahead and break it down the reason why Omar looks 10 years younger than me is because he always wears sunblock meanwhile your girl here be wearing that hand no, lotion with no SP, like 15 SPF. If I'm not mistaken, you bought me that one. Well, yeah, because you use ones that have like five. Or something. <laughs> Is there even things? So I'm like, I'm gonna give her a little bit more protection and give her 15. But yeah, I have a, I have 70 on right now, 70 SPF. Um, yeah, you're a. Oh my gosh, you'll, <laughs> you'll find out when you take a warm. Well, here's shower the thing. Later. Well, I'm not taking a warm shower, but at the house they do have that after sun lotion there, so. Right, yeah. All right. I gotta go, baby. We had this igloo thing filled to the top with ice and water, and it's empty. Oh, 25 SPF, See? okay. Yeah. I got better in my game. I bought this for you. <laughs> Very, she's cool with oil on her skin. Put some Crisco. Let's go somewhere fun. This place is so cool. I have been here before. Tiffany has not, though. Where are we at right now? Miami's art district. Well, it's called Windward Walls, and everything is like tagged up. So much graffiti out here, but it's cool. It's like everywhere you look, just so artsy and colorful. It's like a color bomb went off in the city. All right, so we've been trying to find parking here at Windward Walls, and uh, as you can see, there's not very much parking. I mean, a lot of it's just really nice art. And then I think, oh look, that's the Cuba flag. Oh, look, a C8. How cool is that? From a distance, you see the sunshine. It's just like a dark cloud. It's a small dark cloud passing through. And just like that, it is sunny again. I think they're doing something out there for like the sea turtles, like maybe making a path. Now that ribbon that you see right over there, that is a sea turtle nest. How cool would it be that while we're here, we get to witness sea turtles coming out of that nest. That would be magical. I wonder how many babies end up surviving. They hatch at night when we're here, getting all those babies to the ocean. Well, you can't touch it them. Says that they, uh, no, but you can go like this and guide. I seen it on a You can guide the them, thing. yeah. Yeah. 
because you can get flashlights. Pelicans will probably eat them, but you know what? Maybe that is kind of disturbing the circle of life. You know, maybe it's hey, hey, pretty normal. A little baby spending all this time in a shell just to hatch and be eaten. That's not the circle that I'm looking for. We're gonna get little flashlights, and you go like this, and you guide them to the water. And, uh... All right, fam. So we are back at the Hallover Inlet. This time we decided to go across the way where you know, like the wavy boats guy. What's the other channel? You there's a, there's, like a, uh, there's a couple other ones, but uh, this is where the Wavy Boats guy is, and it is a little bit busier out. Only problem is it's kind of cloudy, but I don't know. Maybe it'll clear up. Uh, sun's going to go down in like an hour and a half, too, so maybe that's going to be awesome because the boats are going to be coming in. I wore this really cool shirt today. So it's a to-do list. But uh, I got like a stain on it from eating food like oil and vinegar or something. But that's where we were at yesterday. Huh? Ah, hey, I thought you said we we're the same height. All right, it's a little windy, but wind is good when it comes to these kind of videos. We got a boat coming. Yeah, I only see one cameraman out here. Look at those waves. Oh my gosh. I think the big boats are fine. Oh my gosh. Look at that weight. How is it much rougher here than it is out in the main ocean? He's by himself. trying to go swimming you're gonna drown all right that didn't last very long started hanging out chilling rain came out of nowhere Florida. it was a little cloudy yeah but huh, what the hell oh, oh here comes another boat but it's all good <sighs> made it to the truck how you doing you know just had a nice florida shower yeah how about another that boat's going out that's how you flood the humans away I think this rain is here to stay for a little while though. I mean, we should have known it was getting cloudy out. We were out there for a total of pff, 25 minutes. <laughs> I think the walk took longer than... I did. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how'd you get loose? What's up? How you doing? You guys want some peanuts? Oh, he's protecting his girlfriends. Okay, I won't come near him. You guys are so cute. Oh, I hear like a baby. Yeah, it's still babies. Pew, 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 pew. Hey, why'd the chicken cross the road? We are in Key West. This is the Keys. We're on a little island right now. This is the East Martello Museum. This is where Robert the doll, the haunted doll, is one of the most, probably the most haunted doll in the world, in my opinion. You go in here and don't ask him permission to snap a photo, you're gonna leave here and probably get into a car accident. I mean, it's happened, there's letters on the wall. You have to ask permission. I, I know it sounds weird, may sound superstitious, but it's really not. They do after dark adventures here? Like paranormal? What? Oh my God, I wanna come. That would be so cool. But yeah, here it is. I've been in here before. The museum itself is haunted. I'm gonna show you around Key West a little bit. It is really pretty here. And tomorrow, I am so excited about what's happening tomorrow. Bye guys. You wanna come home with me to Nine Acres? Probably like the beach though. Yeah, I mean, you can't get any better than that. That's pretty cool. Just don't go that way, okay? Don't cross that road. So most people like wanna come to Key West because they think they're gonna be going to this magical tropical 
beach, but you don't come to Key West for the beaches. In fact, there's not even that many beaches here in Key West. But you know what there's a lot of? A lot of palm trees, a lot of history, a lot of stank in the air. Oh, God, it smells it, so bad. It smells. I think it's all that stuff. Look, but this is their beach. It's actually not that nice. Kind of ugly, if you ask me. You want to go to the nice beaches, go. And like Marathon, where there was like. Yeah, Marathon signs. Key was, was pretty. When we go back in a couple of days, I'll show you around and we'll make some stops because there was a couple. <laughs> thought I was going to hit that tree. I thought you were going to hit this curb. No, I'm good. It's just a really tiny road. But yeah, we, we saw so many beautiful like waterways and we wanted to stop. But we kind of had to like, we wanted to be here while the sun was still up. But another reason why you come to Key West is the history and of course the partying. There's a lot of partying. If you like that old school like vibe, nostalgia of St. Augustine, you'll really enjoy Key West. It's very similar, but maybe just uh, St. Augustine is pretty tropical, but it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more tropical here. I mean, we got the, the coconut palm trees. But, yeah, as far as beaches, um, yeah, you're not really going to get the beautiful sandy beaches out here. Dude, there's chickens everywhere out here. Look at that. Chickens there. Chickens there. My dad told me that they're protected, too. Like, you can't, you can't eat them. Like, look at that. They're just chilling. And if you happen to find a beach on Key West, oh, look at the little baby chickens. <laughs> Good chance that there's going to be some chickens on the beach with you. Okay. There's a little something, something. They all stink, though. Yeah, it is a little smelly, but it could be from the rain. This guy looks like trouble right here. Where's he at? <laughs> he's running. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Ew, he's, he's running and pooping. Oh, look, they're up there, too. There's more. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, look, they're all around this bike. Literally chickens everywhere in Key West. That's cool, though. That's awesome. You go to some parts of Tampa. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch you and take you to Tampa. No, you're not. Doesn't this have like a St. Augustine vibe to it? Yeah, it there is a lot of older historic homes, like with porches. We're going to stay at a really cool one tomorrow. Look at that one. Oh, this is up. This is the Ball Street. Okay, this is the main strip. Look at this. This is cute. Hey, look, more chickens crossing the road. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of shops and bars. And if you want to park, though, it's kind of a challenge, especially on the weekends. That's why I think it'd be an awesome idea to get a golf cart. Did you hear the story about the guy that he fell in love, he was a doctor, and he fell in love with this woman that he was taking care of that was a Hispanic woman. I think she was Cuban, by the way. And she ended up dying. He dug up her body. Yeah, and then slept next to it. No, he took care of her body for like years, and it was like, that was his girl. Like, yeah, it was- Didn't he like sleep next to it and everything too? He probably did other things. I love your dresses. <laughs> that woman is buried here. And I mean, it was like a huge deal here in Key West. You can look up the story. Dang, it's even busier over here. Oh, because this is the center where we turned in at. That uh -huh. was the public. Now okay. we're in like actual Wall Street. Look at that. Yo, check out that old looking house. Yeah, there's a lot of haunted houses here. Wow, look at that tree too. They made a whole restaurant out of a house. How cool is that? Bro, there is effing chickens all over the place. Like, they're all over. Look, it's a chicken family. <laughs> so we figured we could probably see a lot more walking around. Wait, is this house like boarded up? Yeah, it says we're trespassing. What? Real estate office used to be a schoolhouse. So here's that tree that we recognized from the road and we were like, yo, it's creepy right by the creepy house. It's awesome. I don't know what kind of tree it is, but we don't have trees like this in Central Florida. I guess chickens are the actual mascots here in Key West. It's like nobody out here. I think we left the strip. <laughs> That's cool. We were looking up at like what foods are known in Key West. And one of them is the key lime pie. I did not know that. Key lime pie bakery. Oh, look at that chicken begging over there. He's just waiting for them to throw him a french fry. 
All right, fam. I wish you could have seen the meal that we just had because it was very healthy. How is it? That's literally the best meal I've ever had. Best ever? Yeah. Cool. It is a completely different vibe at nighttime out here. It's way more people. Whoa, what is this? Cool. This is a cool place. So this is where Robert the doll spirit haunts and they have it converted into a bed and breakfast. Yeah, I stayed in the turret suite, which is the upstairs. Part of Florida we're from, it's usually crows and other birds kind of begging. Here is the chickens. Oh yeah. Here's a piece of bread. Oh, dude, I am really loving how beautiful this water is. So in a little bit, Tiffany and I are going to be getting on those sea dudes. We're going on a tour, a guided tour around Key West, and I'm excited about that. Yeah. You're not excited, are you? I'm going to be so excited to get all that water. I'm so hot. Yeah? Dude, my shins are thought literally sweating. I thought you didn't like skis. I don't like when you go fast on the skis. You don't like when I'm driving. When you go like a bazillion miles an hour what if and I, I feel let you like drive? my big ass is about to fall off the back. You wanna drive? No, I will literally run everybody over. I wonder if there's gonna be that many people out there with us. These guys are pros. Whoa. <laughs> what about like stingrays and stuff? Nope, not the rays. Maybe the occasional jellyfish will come over here. But okay, I don't, uh, I'm fine with a jellyfish. See any sharks out here? No, not really. Uh, no, not really. 300 yards off this power line, great white preserve. It's what? Great white preserve? Great white heron. Is that F? Great white heron. <laughs> <laughs> so being that I do not know the Key West waters or the Florida Key waters, decided to do a jet ski tour through Fury is the name of the company. Tiffany was wearing her her Fitbit. It's not waterproof? No, I'm not. It's water resistant. I know. Now, I almost stepped on this thing. It looked like a giant bowl, like a solid bowl underwater. Let me see if I can find it. All right, look, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's like a, looks like a little underwater satellite. <laughs> what the f was that? Oh, cool. Bro, what is this stuff? Ew, this is awesome. Yo, check this out, fam. This cemetery is really cool. Now there is a woman that's buried here. I don't know where her grave is at, but I was telling you the story about a doctor that fell in love with her before she passed away. He thought he could cure her of cancer. She ended up dying, pretty much stole her corpse. And they didn't know that. Completely grave robbed her and spent so many years with this corpse doing who knows what to it there's pictures online about this it was a very morbid story yeah carl tansler you can you can look it up online but that happened here in key west he left key west defeated he returned to his wife and daughter in zephyr hills florida wow that's like right by us so he kept trying to preserve this corpse and put makeup on it he was using paper mache i mean it, it looked it looked horrible i mean our bodies aren't meant to last after they pass away. And uh, he was doing all that he could. He was described as a necrophiliac. Necrophiliac. Look over there. It's on top of the headstone. See that? Big old iguana. You wanna see him? Look, let's get closer. You be like fine and all the So do you know how they caught him? Oh, there, see him? Oh wow, he sent me then. Yeah. Look at that guy. I ain't gonna hurt you. I don't know. So they found him because it was either her sister, no, it was her sister, I think it was, came to visit. And what she thought was replica doll. Come to find out it was actually her sister. Oh and she gosh. turned, she got him, she got him turned in. The local funeral home here, after they found all this out and the guy was arrested, they gave her a proper burial and she is in an unmarked grave here in Key West Cemetery. This is what she looked like. Oh my gosh. And you know that 7,000 people 
came to Key West to view her. They had her on display at a local funeral home just before giving her a proper burial. Man, what happened at these stones? It says Elena's sister realized something was up with Elena's resting place in Key West Cemetery and all authorities found the body of Carl, found her body in Carl's house. It was kind of a rumor around town. Key West is a very small town. It was definitely a, a way smaller town in the 1940s when all this took place. Well, 1930s, 1940s. But, you know, suspicion led to discovery and discovery led to an arrest. And being that the statute of limitations was kind of like beyond its limits, he was actually dropped of these charges of grave robbing. And yeah, it was really crazy, like all the stuff that he did. And it wasn't cancer, by the way, that took Elena's life. It was tuberculosis. Supposedly he dreamt of someone who looked just like Elena or Maria is what they call her too. And he always had this vision of this woman that was supposed to be his one true love and he finally met her when she was in the hospital and he treated her took her blood and was her x-ray tech he was determined to not only save her life but if she died bring her back from the dead i'm gonna do a more thorough story let me know here in the comments if that's something you want to see now back in the days being that they didn't have internet and social media they did a really good job hiding where her body is she's in an unmarked grave and key west cemetery is actually quite big kind of reminds me of the st louis cemetery in new orleans i mean she could be anywhere did a ton of research and like she's in a mausoleum we do know that well, oh well there's this too now so i don't know what this is about that's in the east martello museum so when they finally buried her, like reburied her, the day that Van Kossel, which was the name of the guy, but the day that he left, and it was kind of weird that it happened, a weird coincidence, her grave blew up. It completely blew up. So they had to have reconstructed a new mausoleum for her. Felix Varela. Oh, look at that lizard. Oh, you missed it. Oh, there's another iguana. See him? Here. Oh, sitting on the thing over there? Look right here. Oh, I see him. Yeah. We have a pretty high water table in Florida as it is, but here in Key West, I mean, it's a tropical island, and that's why, I mean, there are some that are buried underground, but a lot of them are above ground. Well, you know what's crazy is this whole story, like news stations jumped on it, and I mean, it, it made national headlines, world headlines. I hate to say it, it kind of put Key West on the map, because people flocked here after hearing that story. Some people didn't even know where Key West was. I mean, you gotta think, this is before social media. Uh, Key West was a very small town at that time in the 1940s. So this ultimately led to people discovering Key West that wouldn't have in the past. You know, sometimes some negative things do have some positive outcomes. Dude, you know this cemetery is haunted AF. I mean, every cemetery is haunted. This should be a cool place to come at night. Oh, I wonder for if sure. it's open at night. Uh, probably not. Look at this little guy over here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yo, these mofos can fly too. A dog with a little sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, look at this place. There's the cruise ship right there. This is a great way to see Key West. Yeah. Get one of these little golf carts. The speed limit out here is like 15 miles an hour anyways. Oh, that's another good way to see Key West, like that. So we left Key West, making our journey back home to, I was gonna say Florida, Central Florida. But I wanted to kind of show you how the drive is because we're not on the mainland part of Florida anymore. We're on these little islands. If you ever look at a map and see the, the Florida Keys, it's like little islands off the coast of Florida towards the bottom and it's quite far. It's crossing a bridge right now to get to another island. And wow, look how pretty the water so is pretty. out there. Kind of a bummer when we were on the jet ski yesterday, we didn't get to really swim a whole lot because it was like a time thing. What was it, like a half an hour or an hour and a half? Yeah, it was an hour on, and a half. Yeah, hour and a half on the jet ski. It's a 90 minute tour, but it was nice. It was worth it, we got to see a lot in those 90 minutes and we did get to swim here's one of those bridges now Whoa. see any sharks out there 
we just passed a channel that the name of the channel is called Shark Channel. I don't know if there's any sharks there, but I don't know. Why would they name it that, you know? They got like little boat neighborhoods. And they gotta pay what, like $500? $500 a month and the city will come out and pump your tanks and stuff. Look at that, they're completely disconnected from life there. They have solar powered, electricity, it's like a whole town. Well, there's people there. So for as long as we've been out here in the Keys, Tiffany hasn't been able to snap a photo of an iguana. I mean, I've showed y'all a bunch of iguanas already. Did you get a photo? You went too far, yeah. But he's not a really big one. There's probably gonna be some in here. Looking for some iguana. You know that in Costa Rica, they eat them. Who? In Costa Rica. Who eats them? The oh. people? Yeah, they call them gallina de palo, which means uh, chicken on a stick. People eat gators too. Tiffany just asked a very funny question. If our dog Luna were to see one of these lizards, is she gonna chase it and be like, you know, should I get it? Cause she's always going after those little lizards that we have in our yard, but an iguana, they will whip you with their tails and it hurts. You ever been whipped? It? Okay, this isn't an iguana, but it's funny cause there's a lot of these lizards sunbathing on the rocks. Look, there's one right there. I don't want to spook him away. Is that one of our kind of lizards? No, he's a little bigger. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's big. I don't know what kind of lizard that is, but he is pretty exotic. Whoa! Dude, that thing's quick. And more than likely, an iguana will eat one of these guys. Look at that. We're on Marathon Key right now, in case you're wondering. This island was devastated by a hurricane a couple years ago. I mean, it really tore this place apart. And I came here maybe like the year or two after. Tons of abandoned buildings. It was bad. Now, not so much. It's definitely cleaned up. Spot here in Marathon where those fish, those are the fish that when you go into those nail salons, they'll eat from your feet. You want to put your feet in the water? No. It's so clear. Look at all those really pretty houses. So why are we walking quietly? So we don't see the lizards. We're trying to walk really quiet so we can snap a photo of an iguana. Oh, he's not a fisher. Cool. Some iguana bait. <laughs> Some people go bird watching or lizard watching. Just maybe, if you're lucky, you might find a gator too. Oh, oh wow. It's Look a at real this. baby. Oh. I'm trying to find a big one so I can, can I hold a them? picture of it. Yeah. He don't bite, does he? No. It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh man, look at that! I've, well, yeah, I've never held in a, a baby iguana. They're very nice, but they like their nature. Oh, and they're doing really good here in Florida. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, but they eat all the owl egg, all the kinds of eggs. Here. Oh, they're a they nuisance. Do? They're a nuisance, they right? They eat all the eggs and disturb the eggs of the animals. They're eating those little lizards too. Yeah, they are... do. Oh, I thought that was an iguana up there. Is it? That's what. Oh, that's his, that's his an iguana. Look, oh, look we just walked right past him. See? Look, oh, he's. Good. I'm gonna put him. Gonna put him with his yeah, mama maybe here. Well, so he learns. Hey. Thank you. How'd you catch him? You're fast. Yeah, I uh -huh. raise alligators. No. You raise alligators? Yes. But look, you know what's cool. funny? When she was, I was like, she's like a a down south savannah, <laughs> <laughs> and then she said she raised alligators. Yes, she literally is. Like, how in the world did you catch him? Because he's fast, huh? I'm quick. You're quick, huh? When it comes to animals, you have snakes and things. Wow, what a treat. I was looking for iguanas, and I got to hold one thanks to you. <laughs> Thank you. The iguanas have not made their way to Central Florida, but slowly but surely, I think they will. Look at him. What do you see? Come here. Oh, it's a male. Whoa. All right, guys. If you look a little closer, just past the palm trees, he has a bit mean. of a temper too. Dude, Whoa. look at that tail. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. Wow, you gotta have really good eyes because they camouflage so well. Isn't it crazy that that little baby I was holding is gonna, oh. oh my God. Oh, it's another male. Holy crap. This is cool. Them mofos swim too. Look at that. He's so cool. Hey, buddy. 
I just held your little nephew. Look, look, you see him coming down? Look, that one's colorful too. Oh, that's the one that was up on the tree. Look, he's coming down. Looks like freaking Godzilla. Are they about to fight? I think they're about to fight. He's like, yo, homie, this is my neighborhood. Shit, he about to fight us. Things are gonna gang up on us. Hey, you wanna come home with us? No. <laughs> he's looking at you, babe. I'm really glad we stopped here because we definitely got our iguana on. Did you get your photos that you wanted? I did. Yeah, there's like tons of iguanas here. We saw a few of them in Key West, but not like talking about. Them.